Hello, my name is Dimkar Huja. I'm a first year internal medicine resident at Loyola Medical Center. I'll be talking to you all today about pediatric fatty liver disease. So what is fatty liver disease? As the name describes, it's a disease in which fat tissue is stored in liver cells. That process causes inflammation, and over time that inflammation can lead to the development of scar tissue. As this disease progresses, scar tissue eventually overwhelms the liver and causes end-stage liver disease or cirrhosis. If you look at the bottom of the poster, you can see the progression of a healthy liver to a cirrhotic liver. Of note, cirrhosis is a stage of liver disease in which uh, the progression of liver disease is no longer reversible. Up until that point, liver disease, and particularly fatty liver disease, is reversible. Cirrhosis increases the likelihood for the development of liver cancer. Classically, fatty liver disease is a disease of adults, and in particular, obese adults. But to my surprise, children are being diagnosed with this disease and with increased prevalence. So which children are at risk for, at risk for developing fatty liver disease? Well, the number one risk factor for uh, development of fatty liver disease is obesity, and the US one in five children are obese. Other risk factors include diabetes, prediabetes, obstructive sleep apnea, a family history of fatty liver disease, and endocrine disorders. Groups at, particularly at risk are Hispanic children, Caucasian children, and Asian American children. So what are the symptoms and how do we diagnose fatty liver disease? Well, fatty liver disease is a silent disease without symptoms, unfortunately. We typically screen children with the risk factors we just discussed as early as nine years old, and that initial screening includes blood work. If the blood work shows signs of inflammation, we'll get imaging studies, and if that, if both of those are consistent with possible fatty liver disease, Liver biopsy is the gold standard for the diagnosis. So how do we treat this disease? Well, the mainstay of treatment is lifestyle changes, both for cirrhotic uh, livers and for the reversible stages prior to the development of cirrhosis. So those include dietary changes with decreased sugar, decreased carbohydrate, and increased protein, exercise at least three times weekly, and particularly in children, decreased screen time and then there's some evidence for the utilization of probiotics and vitamin E, although that is not strong evidence. So summarize, children can get fatty liver disease and those children with signs of obesity and diabetes are particularly at risk for fatty liver disease. Evaluation includes laboratory testing, imaging, and liver biopsy to confirm the diagnosis. I'd like to emphasize that this disease is reversible until development of cirrhosis. So those lifestyle changes can make a big difference in quality of life and stopping the progression of this disease. Thank you for listening to my presentation.